If you are dating a woman, or if you are in a relationship with a woman who does not respect you, you are in for a world of unspeakable agony. In order to have a healthy relationship with a woman, respect is more important than anything else. It is more important than common interests and values, more important than compatibility. It might even be more important than love. If a woman does not respect you, she does not view you as a proper man. She will view you as a worm with whom she can act as she pleases. When a woman does not respect you, she will eventually lose all her attraction towards you. And then, it is only a matter of time before she will leave you or cheats on you. Yes, she might still like you. She might even love you, but this means nothing. Having love for someone is not the same as being attracted to them. In this video, I will give you six things that make a woman respect you and therefore keep her attraction for you. But before we get into it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, brother. Now let's get into it. Number one, be prepared to leave. This one is important. You could say that in some sense, this is actually the most important one. Let me explain why. Not being afraid to walk away serves as the foundation for everything. Why? Let's say that your girl has overstepped one of your boundaries and you call her out on it. If she knows with certainty that no matter what, you will still stick around in the end, then calling her out was meaningless all along. Think about it. In reality, this is all you got. If you do not possess the courage to make the decision to leave, then you have given her permission to disrespect you. Being prepared to walk out is the only way to enforce your boundaries. You certainly don't want to enforce your boundaries by making threats of violence or otherwise unethical or illegal behavior. This would be incredibly pathetic. Now I am not saying that you should leave a girl the moment she does something that doesn't please you, but you must always be prepared to walk away without looking back. If you are truly at peace with making this decision, she will be able to sense it, and this will make her think twice before she disrespects you. Number two, never lose your temper. The moment you lose composure and let your emotions get the best of you, you have surrendered your role as the strong and dominant partner. You have forsaken your masculine frame and she will no longer respect you as the calm, logical leader that you are supposed to be. When you have a disagreement with your girl, you must remain calm and collected. Even if she is freaking out, you must tell yourself that this is the moment where you take control of the situation before it escalates out of hand. Look her deep in the eye with a calm expression on your face. Wait for her to finish, but also make sure that you make an effort to actually listen to what she is saying. When she has finished, then calmly tell her that you are going to make your point now and that you appreciate if she would not interrupt you. You could call this trait being stoic, something I have talked a lot about on this channel. You need to recognize that your emotions do not always want what is best for you. Therefore, you need to take a step back and analyze the situation, then make your best move based on the conclusion you come up with. If you are able to exercise this kind of self-control and maturity, especially in a heated situation, it demands respect. Number three, have clear boundaries. This is very important and it is something that you should bring up as soon as possible in the relationship. Of course, it needs to be appropriate, so you don't need to bring it up on your first date. But as soon as things start to get serious, pull her aside and have the talk. And make sure that you keep things in a light tone so that she doesn't feel that you are accusing her of anything. But with that said, do not make it seem like a joke. Make sure that she knows that you are very serious about your boundaries. Make sure that she knows that you will not tolerate your boundaries being overstepped or disrespected. Again. This brings us back to the first point. She needs to know that you are not afraid to leave. If she knows this, she will make an effort to respect your boundaries. A side note on this one is that you should also make an effort to respect her boundaries. Yes, as a man, it is your role to lead and guide the relationship, but you should not be a tyrant. Number four, reward, good behavior. No, a woman is not a dog. I am very well aware of that, and so should you be. I do not mean that you should give her a treat every time she cooks you dinner or gives you a massage. 
What I do mean by this is that when you notice that she is making an effort to respect your boundaries and that she respects you as a man, you need to show her that you appreciate her. A lot of guys have grown bitter towards women because of the way women act nowadays. But in the end, it is our own fault. We have forsaken our role as leaders and thus disturbed the natural order of things. This is why some women are acting out. Women needs to feel appreciated and loved. So when your woman is fulfilling her God-given role as the loving healer in the home, when she respects your boundaries and loves you with all her heart, when she supports your purpose and cheers for you, then you must show her how much you appreciate her. You can also tell her with words, but make sure that your words are powerful and sincere. But actions always speak louder than words. So take her out to special dates, bring her flowers, make her feel special. If you can both manage to fulfill your roles like this, the two of you will complement each other in the most beautiful way. A woman like this is the only type of woman that you should truly care about. A video on this topic will be made in the future. Number five, stand by your values. As a high value man, you must have certain values that you live your life in accordance with. Most men will say that they have values, but they have no integrity and their values will slightly change depending on who they are with. This is weak. Every man should have a serious conversation with himself. So sit yourself down with no distractions and think carefully. What are your values? When you know which values you want to represent, then you must stand by them at all costs. If one of your values is, to be honest, you must never compromise this. If you change your core values to make them match your woman's values or other people's values for that matter, then she will quickly pick up on it and this will make her see you as a spineless little worm. A real man stands by his values always. Number six, respect yourself. This is the one that binds it all together. Being respected by a woman or by people in general all comes down to whether or not you respect yourself. This means that you respect your time. Don't mindlessly change your schedule to make it match other people's. It means that you respect your body by letting it achieve its true potential and not letting it rot and decay and become weak. It means that you respect your peace by refusing to react to meaningless drama, which is something a lot of women love to cause. Ultimately, it means that you possess the ability to distinguish between which things and which people it truly serves you to have in your life and that you are willing to sacrifice the ones that do not serve you. Do not accept your fate and follow the herd. Determine how you want to live your life and then proceed to act on it. If you have watched all the way to the end, I would like to take a moment to speak a few words to you and send you a powerful message from the bottom of my heart. I do not care who you are, what your past looks like, or how far along you are on your journey towards becoming the best version of yourself. I want you to know that if you are truly giving it everything you got, if you are truly determined to improve yourself and your life, if you are truly determined not to argue what a good man should be, but to be a good man yourself, if you treat other people with respect and you do your part in trying to make the world a better place, if you are truly on this path, I want you to know that you have my deepest, most sincere respect and support. And I want to thank you for watching these videos and supporting my journey. And even though we as men are born to compete with each other, do not forget to support your brothers. At the end of the day, we are all on the same path. And true masculinity is not about dominating the weak. It is about empowering the weak. I hope this inspires you to do just that. Thanks for listening. That's it for today's video, brothers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.